got its own heartbeat. It's got its own power in there. For the better part of three decades, Karen Cooper devoted her life to the emergency room at Jamestown Regional Medical Center, a hospital that had been the lifeline of Fentress County. But if you came to our ER, we were going to get you out of there alive. If it was God's will at all, we were going to make you leave there alive. Karen Cooper was not here on March 1st of 1960 when the hospital's first patient was admitted. But she was here on June 13th of 2019 when the last patient, along with every single doctor and nurse, left for a final time. We were all there and uh, waiting on 7 o'clock. And 7 o'clock came and we made a circle and we each prayed for the facility and for the county, for the patients, and we left. When the plug was pulled on Jamestown Regional, 120 dedicated health care professionals lost their jobs in an instant. Also included in your packet is some information about adult education. So the Department I of Labor and Workforce Development uh, was called into help. Folks used to call food stamps, which is now uh, called SNAP benefits. All that aside, and these nurses knew the hospital was on the brink of closure. But listen to how desperately they tried to keep it open. We were buying stuff for the patients in the ER. We were going to Walmart and buying cups so they could take their pills, and buying snacks so we could give them to people who had low blood sugar. That is how vital these rural hospitals are. And in a place where the median income hovers around $32,000, Jamestown Regional was the county's largest employer. I think it's tragic. I, I don't understand the how people can overlook the magnitude of the rural health care facilities.